Chad, one area that's kind of flown under the radar during the spring that could be a problem for the Red Sox suddenly now, especially is the bullpen with Koji Uihara out to start the season. I don't know how serious that is. I suspect he'll be back in there before long. I don't like the idea of Nuhiker. I know you don't. We'll talk about him as the uh, fill-in reliever. We've got Alexia Gondo, who seems to have been throwing the ball well this spring, a guy people seem to like. But a lot of question marks in this relief staff. Not a lot of power arms. Last year, they were worst in the league in terms of fastball speed coming out of the bullpen outside of Junichi Tozawa. I don't know how much of that they still have this year and who fills in around Uihara in that back end of the pen. Yeah, you look at the model that's popular around baseball right now. Well, the Royals used it last year with three real power arms in their bullpen, got to the World Series. The Yankees are doing it this year. If, if Dylan Batances' velocity gets up uh, with Andrew Miller alongside him, they have a couple real strikeout pitchers, incredible strikeout pitchers in their bullpen. Red Sox don't really have that, and because of their starting rotation, you feel like that bullpen depth would it would give you much more confidence in, their, in what they're trying to do here. But... They just don't have it. Uh, Uihara has been incredible as the Red Sox closer, but he had his hiccup last uh, last August. Uh, uh, got a little bit on track again in September, but he's 40 years old, and hamstring problems on 40-year-old are not what a hamstring problem on a 25-year-old is. You have to feel like this is something that's going to linger, that it's going to be harder for him to remain healthy. Tazao was their most dependable guy, but he faltered as a closer two years ago before Yui Hari took over that role uh, as the fourth option. Miller's gone. They're counting on Breslow, who had a terrible year last year, and then Tommy Lane and uh, Robbie Ross to emerge as lefties. So maybe one of those guys does it. Uh, Mujica is a guy who's pitched well when there are no stakes, and he's pitched poorly when, uh, when the games matter. So you can't trust him right now either. So uh, they have options. They've got good arms in the minor leagues. I'm really intrigued by the possibility of Matt Barnes as a relief pitcher because the one thing he does well is throw smoke. But uh, they're going to have to sort this out over the course of the season. It just does not look as constituted right now as the strength of this team. So weakness on the front end for the Red Sox in the rotation. They could have potential weakness in the back end, not a recipe for success in the American League East. But we'll see how they hold up as the season gets going.